good morning. Uh, today on my run I thought I'd tell you a little bit more about myself. My name's Francois. I'm 40 years old, married, three children, and we have a dog, Robin. So, why did I start this channel? Well, I just love running, especially outdoors. And since discovering trail running, I haven't been able to get enough really. Absolutely love it. All weather, all seasons, uh, for a lot of reasons, which I'll go into another time. I just love the outdoors. And I thought what better way to document it than uh, starting a channel really. So, really started pushing myself last year and I uh, want to continue that and I thought it's a good way of documenting it through the highs and the lows journeys as I try and become slightly better at trail running and ultra races so uh, welcome along and as I go through this journey I'll be reviewing the kit that I use that works for me any advice related to that kit how I train for trail running in general how I change my training for specific races that I might have and also how I go about exploring new places so plotting new routes navigating and that sort of thing so this channel is for anyone really anyone that's interested in trail running, ultra running anyone that's new to it looking for some advice from someone who started at the bottom really and has got to a position where I'm happy with my fitness level and wanting to push it slightly more um, in the future will be on this channel Whoa. so welcome along hope you enjoy thank you Whoa. so I've been running properly now for three years started at the end of 2016 predominantly run on trails. In 2017 I gave my hand to 5Ks, 10Ks and did two half marathons and uh, did alright in them. I still want to try and break the elusive 40 minute barrier for 10K and one and a half hours for half marathon. But we'll see. I like running on all off-road terrain. Currently running on grass, gravel, right away, footpath, sand not so much but that's few and far between like rocky descents in a sense I like mountains I love hills as well I love a bit of hill training on average I run between two and four times a week depending on how busy I am with work and family to try and make at least one of those a hill session one of those a faster session one of them a long run and then obviously a recovery easy run at some point if I can fit it in. So now my focus on uh, races is around the trail marathon, trail ultra distances, anything from 28 miles up to 100 miles plus. And uh, those are the ones I train for. I like the long endurance, challenging tests, seeing how my body copes seeing how I cope mentally, physically and emotionally. It's a great way of pushing yourself. So my um, standout races for me began with uh, the Lakes in a Day Ultra, 50 mile ultra in the Lake District from north to south in 2017. It was a bit of a baptism of fire for my brothers and I. Uh, 
and we managed to get that done in just under 20 hours, 19 hours, 45 I think. Um, that's what ignited my passion for trail running. And uh, in 2019, I returned to the lakes in a day uh, to do it again. And I completed it in 14 hours, 34 minutes. So a lot of the races, these hard ones, I like to return to them just to prove to myself that I have improved in some way. And that's a good way of measuring your own personal progress. Uh, last year as well, 2019, I did the Cotswold Way Century, 103 mile run. Uh, along the Cotswold Way and uh, that was just as hard in a completely different way and I managed that in 27 hours 56 minutes with a goal to return to that race next year in 2020 if it's on uh, to better myself again and in between those I've done multiple trail marathons and ultras varying in distance from 30 miles to 50 miles all good all different locations um, around the UK What do I need to work on? Oh, there's plenty of things that everyone always needs to work on, but for me personally, um, I'm trying to learn from my experiences in races and, and running. And the main one for me is fueling properly during long runs and races. So that means taking on hydration earlier, taking on some nutrition and some energy earlier on in the race before I run out of energy and it's too late. Um, at the moment, I can probably run 20 miles, I would say, without really taking on any water and certainly no energy, gels or uh, electrolytes, which is a bad thing. I need to get out that habit. So that's one of the main things I need to work on. The other thing I need to work on is my pacing, especially in the early stages of a race or a run. Um, I need to improve how fast I go out and manage the distance versus the speed I'm going. So my main goals for the rest of this year and uh, in general are to just maintain my fitness levels and my motivation. Another one is to complete maybe one or two at least 40 mile runs by the end of the year just to keep that uh, motivation there that I can still achieve that sort of distance in one go. And also at the end of uh, lockdown in the UK here 2020 uh, I'm going to take part in the Centurion Running Community One event which is running 100 miles in one week, so uh, stay tuned for that. So, 2021. Go big or go home. I've got some pretty ambitious goals for 2021, mainly revolving around doing three 100 mile races. First being Thames Path 100 in May. Second being South Downs Way 100 in June. And all being well, the Cotswold Way Century again in September. So uh, within those, I've got some goals over there on my own. Thames Path in under 20 hours, South Down Way under 24 hours, and Cotswold Way Century somewhere near 24 hours. Those are the big ones. So uh, a lot of training still to come, but stay tuned. And finally, my long-term goals involve multi-day events, multi-day ultras. I've always had my eye on uh, the Dragon's Back Race, uh, the Northern Traverse, Cape Wrath Ultra, those sorts of things. So they're always in the back of my mind and uh, one day the time will feel right to take part. So that's me in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up and uh, maybe subscribing for more content on my journey. And uh, stay tuned for more great videos coming soon. Thanks very much.